Hello, this is Mike. No stress Mike.com. And it's funny, I was thinking, I really enjoy driving the truck. It's really nice. And uh, I thought, I don't think I made a, a review or anything about uh, my truck. So I thought I'd, I'd talk a little bit about it. I've had it, oh golly, I've had it a couple years now. It's a 2010 uh, Toyota Tundra uh, with a towing package. And uh, it's really nice. It's got the V8 uh, 5.7, I think, is what it is. And uh, uh, it's nothing's broken down on it. Uh, I take it in, uh, I think it's every 4,000 miles, or maybe 5,000 miles, whatever it is. The, the thing will tell you the maintenance light will tell you to come in and change the oil. And uh, uh, whatever kind of uh, uh, routine maintenance needs to be done, I, I have to do everything. And uh, oh, it's four wheel drive. Uh, it's big. When you, uh, I think the hood, top of the hood is chest high uh, and uh, you don't reach over reach in the bed pull things out it's good chest high back there uh, it's four door and uh, I've, I've got my massage table uh, the all my stuff that I do the hoi chi and uh, I've got a foot locker with tools and stuff like that. Uh, so it's, this thing is loaded down. I mean, I got a lot of weight in it. Uh, that's the one bad thing. The only bad thing that I've found about this truck is uh, the mileage. Now, I'll get, normally I'll run between, oh, 10 and 11 miles to a gallon and uh, but like I say I don't go anywhere with it I run around town mostly with it uh, when I'm pulling uh, the RV I'll get 10 miles to a gallon maybe nine and a half uh, it's uh, it doesn't have all the the, the TV screen uh know cameras and stuff like that doesn't have that I do wish it did have a, a camera I've been riding around with people that have cameras in there and that is kind of nice and it's not like I I'm all the time hooking up a trailer to it so it's, uh, with a camera being easier to hook up a trailer but I don't do it that much so it's not that big a deal um, it's got plenty of power plenty of power uh, Today, it was funny, I'm coming back from uh, Tulsa, and I've noticed, man, uh, the quarter, the quarter, the quarter uh, gallon, quarter tank, the top quarter uh, tank, I'm, I'm really happy when I get 50 miles to a gallon, and, uh, but normally it's, it'll be, uh, 35 40 miles for a quarter tank top quarter tank and uh, today I got 80 84 miles to a gallon so I'm sure I'm getting great mileage uh, great mileage for this is six 16 miles to a gallon uh, but I say uh, when I step out and run wrecks it's windy out there, so I got a good tailwind, so that's helping my mileage. Uh, but I say the I don't uh, the truck is to me is transportation. Uh, I don't need something that looks cool, you know that doesn't have anything to do with it. I want to make sure everything works, 
and uh, works wide. And uh, I don't care how banged up it is. I don't care none of that stuff. As long as everything's working right. And uh, uh, I have had to put a new uh, tailgate lock. And uh, I did that. But it, nothing major has happened. Uh, it's really uh, a good, dependable uh, truck. And I say, uh, uh, hauled the, the, the camper. I had that uh, one camper that was in the bed. That was in here. And then uh, my RV, been pulling that. But it, you got to remember, both of them, neither one of them are really big. Uh, but I say, no, no problem, no problem at all. Uh, the wind's got to be really bad before you, on a crosswind, before you notice a crosswind. But it is, it is a big vehicle. Uh, but it is uh, leisurely to drive. I mean, you can sit back. I mean, we're, we're comfortable driving, you know. Is uh, you do feel cracks in the road and stuff like that, but it is a truck, <laughs> you know. So, uh, but like I say I don't know how much it'll uh, haul. I think with uh, the the RV I had, I think we were right at maximum when you look at the numbers uh, on what this thing can hold, and. Uh, and drag behind you and stuff like that. But it, one thing is, like I say, because it's a four-door, the chassis itself is bigger. Uh, it's a big, big chassis, so that's more weight on that. Uh, but uh, like I say, uh, it's, it's good, automatic. Um, uh, does have the power power windows, uh, power seats, uh, but, you know, stuff that I think, you know, for me, this, when I got this, this is a fancy thing for me, because I kind of, I get old stuff. Uh, normally, I don't, uh, the transportation stuff I get, when I splurge, it'll be two-year payments, and, uh, just, like I say, two years, that's plenty long enough for what. If I can't afford it in two years, I really don't want it. And I normally don't buy new stuff. Uh, but like I say, this thing's very good. Uh, well, I guess I did break off the, the antenna. That's the one thing that was on the outside. I haven't put it on. It does, FM works. AM doesn't work, but FM works. So that's plenty good. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, there's, I tell you, these are really expensive. Uh, well, all Toyotas are expensive anyway, and they got more expensive lately. Uh, but I say, even I paid premium price for this because I was, I wanted this. This is what I wanted. Um, the reason I bought this is the guy that I, well, the guy I bought it from. Well, I bought it from the dealer, but uh, it's a one owner, and he had all the maintenance done at the Toyota place. So that's when I, after I got all that, you know, I said that's it. Oh, that's what I'm going to take. But uh, like I say, this this is definitely a nice rig. You want a, a good truck uh, running around? The gas mileage is bad, but other than that, I mean that thing. Uh, if I want to get in a wreck, I think this would be a fun fun one to be in if you want to get in a wreck. This is Mike. No stress Mike. Dot com.